We see things when light coming from them reaches the back surface of our eyes, called the retina. But we can only see colour on a small patch of the retina, called the fovea. The fovea has millions of cone cells, and it's the cone cells that give us colour vision. There are three types of cone cell. Each can detect either red, green or blue light. When a cone cell gets hit by photons of the right coloured light, it sends a signal to the brain that's like one colour pixel in the image we see. But how does a cone cell detect photons of light? It all happens because of a tiny crooked molecule called retinal that's hidden in the membrane folds of the cone cells. These membranes have proteins called opsins embedded in them, and every one of those proteins is holding tight to a molecule of retinal. Retinal has got a bit of a kink in its tail. The kink happens at one of the double bonds in the molecule. If a photon of the right coloured light hits that double bond, the retinal molecule straightens up. Let's see that in slow motion. The photon's energy gets absorbed by one of the electrons in the double bond. With that electron energised, the double bond is like a single bond for a split second, and the retinal molecule suddenly has the energy to swing the crooked tail around the bond and straighten up. Using the energy for the tail swinging means the electron comes back down to normal energy, locking the new shape in place. That tiny straightening movement in retinal causes a rejig in the shape of the protein. And that bit of molecular shape shifting is enough to kickstart a chemical chain reaction in the cell that causes an electrical signal to shoot through it and some nearby neurons and straight off to the brain, where some quick adding up of millions of reds, greens and blues gives us the full colour image of the world we see.